Hey there berries, welcome to another Unranked Diamond, playing every single support, I'm blind so I'm going to be picking Bard, pretty general safe pick, and maybe we can end the series off by kind of carrying with some uber ults. So if you are uneducated on where we are right now, we are on game number 4 of the Unranked, well, game number 4 of the promotion series of going to Diamond. Two wins, one loss. So if we win this one, we are free. And then I can play whatever I want, whenever I want, right? Unless we do another goofy challenge, which we probably will, to be honest, at some point. We got the the, the teacup skin, I think. Uh, I think it's, it's a win already, isn't it? The skin's kind of OP. Yeah, back to Fortnite after this, guys. Back to Fortnite for sure. Jinx on enemy team, pretty easy to crowd control, so that's a nice start for me. We got a Draven. Is this Draven any good? He's played three games and a hundred percent win rate. It's looking good. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. Are you having a good time with this challenge, Bizzle? Yes, overall. It's definitely giving me something to do and proactive, and the I think you guys have hopefully been enjoying it. Um, I will say though, like some of the games have been just like having to play like Pantheon and stuff and Gallia is just, you know, Seraphine. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, I don't enjoy playing as champions in, in the support role. So it's just some of the champion picks are just kind of mental from right anyway. Like the, the Pantheon still being recommended as support. Um, the Galio eventually got taken off at least. Maokai I don't enjoy. I know people play a decent chunk of people play Maokai support, but I don't enjoy doing that. So there's still a few supports I don't, I don't like playing at all. So being forced to play it in this challenge has been kind of rough. So yeah, I'll probably will miss the challenge once it's over. A week or so afterwards, I'll probably miss doing this. This has basically been my life now, really, for like the last nearly two months. So. Like every day, kind of doing the streams with it, or like uploading them to YouTube and things like that. So my whole life has kind of been involved with this Unranked to Diamond series now for like the last two months. But it's been cool, for sure. No Ignite, I mean... Go on then. We can do Ignite if you want it. Okay. Unranked to Challenger. Man, I, I, I do not want to even... Like, staying in Master in one of my accounts is already stressful. And talking about that, I probably need to do some Master games today so I don't get yellow decayed. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I don't like the Master Plus queue and how it's how it works overall and the yellow decay and stuff like that. I'm not a fan. Well, I'm the only person in plat in this game. Enemy Diana, 74% win rate. Enemy mid lane is 67% win rate. That's going to be a tough one to deal with. Enemy team looking like an actual boss. A video game boss. We might be under geared for this. We'll see. We still have one more game to potentially like save us from the series if this one goes bad. But yeah, the, the the Diana and the Azir look very very good. I'm a little scared. So did the last team true? We definitely had some very kind of scary win rate champions. We'll see how it goes. Hey who, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the Berry Bush. Thank you very much. Not a lot happening down here, level one. So it's Jinx, Nautilus, they've got Exhaust Ignite, my Draven has cleanse. Depending on how quickly he pops it, he can get rid of that exhaust quickly to nullify it. Don't want to auto attack this wave. 
think slow pushing it in is good like this is fine. Um That's a bit risky because if we had lost that If we had lost that fight I mean this is already pretty bad actually for Draven because he didn't get the kill and Wave state is really really bad for him Not just not having much health that it's kind of awkward for him to maybe stay. But yeah, my Draven is going to be very far behind in XP. We'll see how it goes, I guess. I need to go pick up some Chimes shortly. I did get first blood, but I don't really need to go back and buy much. He did a minion dematerialize. And then hook. But his mistake was, there still was a minion there for me to key onto. But it was a nice try. It was cute. Sure, if um, Draven's gonna let to do a play down here. Yeah, down a bot apparently. I'm running low on mana. Just go pick up some more chimes. Bloop. I think Jinx missed that brush. Okay. Jinx cancelled her recall. Nautis is kind of low. I think we would win a fight just because of how low the Nautilus is. If we can get a good shove in on this wave, then we can get a better recall in. to freeze it. It's going to be quite a big wave if they do. See, it's kind of low. Don't have a tunnel. Try 
try to give give me the kill though. But would no no no, it's fine. Uh, top. I'm assuming this brush is watered. Oh, that's not doing too great, Tom. Mm, it's a very slow game, but it's not in our advantage. We need more kills early and stuff. Hey Ice and hey everyone in the chat. Hey Tar, hey Veggie. I'm also surrounded to mid. Probably because the Azir was tilted that I rammed. Oh. Yeah, that kind of Q knock there wasn't great. I'm going to ulti. Jinx flash. Lance got maybe boots as well. Hmm. Uh oh. This is now pretty bad. <laughs> Okay, Draven got the cash out though, that's pretty nice. Don't know why he wants me to stay. Dino on three kills. Is she the main scary one? Yeah, she was the main scary one. Yeesh. Do we have any duos on our team at all? Uh, yeah, we do. The mid laner and the AD carry. Top's dying way too much. Oh, hi. Hmm. I'm not sure why the Draven was so hesitant there. I mean, yeah, it was a Nautilus ulti, but look how healthy he is. I don't understand why he backed away from that. I definitely feel like the Draven could have done more there, especially with the Jinx having no flash. I might get Jinx ultied here, actually. Nice little double stun. Okay, cool. I was very in there from Nautilus. I don't know why he was so impatient. They could have had the lane 1v2 and then tried to dive that maybe. Just 
spooky. It's very spooky. Oh, come off it, mate. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stop. Is this hate bard day? Are they having a bard day? Gonna be a difficult game. Yeah, the two people that that look like they're gonna carry on their team are looking like funny enough like they're gonna carry. Let's control Ward City down here, man. Oh sh This is not good. Ugh. is just popping off now. I don't know. I don't think we'll win this, to be honest, but we'll see. I don't know why the, the, the Javan is having such a fascination with top. It's very weird. Especially when Olaf is doing so bad anyway. Like, we don't need to help a losing lane. No. 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 No, you mental Draven wanting to fight that. I can maybe kill her. like and the theme is chains on either a zero diana what go through what the f <laughs> what happened there wait what Okay.
It's looking like a GG. Like top is 2-7 against a Nasus that is just stacking up like crazy. The mid 0-5. Yeah, I think it's not winnable. Like the Draven's alright, but he's not good enough to carry this. Yeah. Bit of a toxic duo queue, to be honest. Oh, deja vu, man. Oh, it's all about the last game again. Ugh. Milking out the promo series again. Yeah, I don't think I played that badly at all. But, um... Yeah, that 70% plus win rate Diana and Azir, kind of too strong for our team. And it didn't help the fact that my top laner was losing his matchup 1v1. Diamond 2 Olaf, by the way, in our top lane. And it was a Diamond 2 mid laner we had too. So we had two Diamond 2s that game. So it's kind of weird, like we're plat 1. We are not able to skip the promos, but we're basically entering close to like, getting close to master already in terms of... um matchmaking rating which is kind of weird bit weird bit weird